I want to take you out to Ancaster this morning where Transportation Minister Prabhupada Tarkaria is making an announcement. This is related to increasing speed limits on the highways. Let's listen to the minister's remarks here. Skilled trades, information technology, medicine and other critical industries. To accommodate them, our ministry is investing over $27 billion in the roads, highways and bridges our growing province desperately needs. And I'm thrilled to say that just last week, Premier Ford and I reached an agreement with the federal government that provides our province with a certainty needed to move forward on Highway 413. Building Highway 413 is a core part of our government's plan to drive economic growth and job creation in Halton, Peel, York region and across the GTA. But any responsible plan has to involve making the use of infrastructure we already have so we can keep traffic moving and get people where they need to go faster. Today, I am pleased to announce that starting July 12th, our government is raising the speed limit permanently from 100 kilometers per hour to 110 kilometers per hour on 10 additional sections of provincial highways in northern and southern Ontario. This includes 14 kilometers on Highway 403 from Hamilton to Brantford, as well as highways near Coburg, Belleville, Kingston, Ottawa and Sudbury. These increases will cover over 36 percent, a full 860 kilometers of Ontario's highway network. They build on the safe and successful increase to six sections of provincial highways my colleague Minister Mulroney announced in 2022 and helps align Ontario's speed limits with other provinces across Canada. With that, Many people, what many people don't realize is until 1975, highways 400, 401, 417 and the QEW had speed limits over 110 kilometers until they were reduced in response to the energy crisis. In fact, much of Ontario's highway network was originally designed for speed limits of 110 kilometers per hour or to safely have them with minimal upgrades. And data from our speed limit increases in 2022 show they are doing just that. All the highway sections we've selected were based on their ability to safely accommodate higher speeds. This is another common sense change our government is taking to make life more convenient for Ontario drivers. And in the coming weeks, we will be introducing further changes to support drivers, make Ontario's roads better for families, and build stronger communities for us all. And with that, I thank all of you for joining us here today and open it up to any questions or comments. Thank you. We'll now all right, that is Ontario Transportation Minister Prabhmeet Sarkaria announcing that another 36% uh, of Ontario highways, 10 sections of 400 series highways, are going to see the speed limits increase to 110 kilometers per hour.